It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday night. It is almost movie time. We can't decide between Die Hard and just watching The Big Bang Theory. We're still we're still confused. We don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> we probably will do hot chocolate again. I have got caramel drizzle burning. I'm going to review that real quick here. Before we get to movie night, last night we did Elf. I have seen Elf at least a hundred times. I swear, I've seen that movie so many times. It always entertains me though. I can watch Will Ferrell over and over again and not get bored. And if they make an Elf too, Will Ferrell better be calling me because I want a cameo in Elf too. <laughs> I really do. That would be my dream come true. But speaking of dreamy Christmas products, how on earth did I miss this, you guys? Twisted Peppermint Cloud Body Butter. I have been so overly focused on shapeable soap. <laughs> I think I've been on shapeable soap overload now. <laughs> I was not like processing the fact that we have a new body butter. You know what I think kind of messed me up? I bought Vanilla Bean No Smell. <laughs> In the body butter a while ago and I actually returned it because it had no smell and it was a little greasy and I was just not liking it and for some reason in my head I was thinking the twisted peppermint and frosted coconut snowball and all of them were the same formula this year and I just didn't have body butter on my radar but today in the store, I saw the packaging. I'm like, you know, this is really pretty. I was actually looking for the Twisted Peppermint in the Shapeable Soap, which they didn't have. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just get one of these. I'll use it. I always love Twisted Peppermint. I opened it up when I came home to do my haul. And I'm like, it's a cloud formula. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Can you see this? It smells amazing. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between these two formulas. And I'm online right now, and I'm just trying to see. People are reviewing this. It's, I didn't even look at the reviews. I didn't read them, but I'm seeing it, it's getting a five-star review. And I'm like, I can see why. So Twisted Peppermint is, I don't even know if they have the scent notes on here. Oh. We all know something knows. Cool peppermint, sugared van sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. I love twisted peppermint. It's creamy. It's peppermint. It's like my all-time favorite scent in terms of mint. Um, it is made with coconut oil and vitamin E. I love the packaging. The packaging is delightful. It's like a little bit holographic, a little glittery. But the formula, oh my goodness, you guys, this stuff is like a cloud. It is so nice. It's like, you know what I like about it? I don't feel like it's overly greasy. I mean, believe me, it's still got a lot of um, like creamy moisture power in it, but it doesn't feel as greasy to me as the regular formula. And I can smell this really good. So Bonfire Bash, what is this? This has got the, um, this is the whipped one. And I thought at first the cloud would be the whipped one. Um, this is shea butter and cocoa butter, where this one is, what is this one? Um, coconut oil and vitamin E. I think I like the coconut oil butter. That's got to be what it is because shea butter is heavy. I've used this one a couple times. This is Bonfire Bash. It is turning an odd, like it gets a little bit dark. These formulas tend to be, and I've had these, oh my gosh, I remember I had the salted apricot one. Remember the one year, they, they went crazy on body butter one year for fall. I had all the fall body butters and they got really, really greasy and separated. So this one is a lot more, um, it just feels greasier on my skin. Once you get them rubbed in, though, I don't really notice a huge difference. It's only in, it's hard to see on camera here. I'm going to try and show you guys these formulas. It's really only when you're 
kind of like taking it out of the jar. I don't know. This just feels really greasy going on. I tend to prefer the Glotions, the whipped Glotions. I feel like the Glotion is a little bit like lighter and more fluffy. And I like the fact that the Glotion has got like um, the little speckles in it of um, <laughs> like glitter. So a Glotion is going to give you a little bit of a shine. I don't know if you guys can see this. You probably can't. I can see a lot of glitter on my hand. And, um, oh my gosh, by the way, if you wanted You're the One at Body Grade I hope you got it in stores. I don't know if they had this. I can't remember if they had it online, but this was like the best deal of Body Care Day uh, because these were like $20. I'm assuming they had these. I cannot remember. I'm like, Body Care Day was like a week and a half ago. <laughs> we have moved on. Um, but I'm, I'm really glad they changed over the formula a little bit. And it's funny because this is different though than um, the Wellness Collection. So the Wellness Collection is a little bit more of a shiny. I know this sounds weird. Um, I'm trying to think what what is in. It doesn't really say. I was going to say what is in the. Oh, so the Wellness Collection has vitamin E, shea butter, coconut water. That's interesting. Um, and electrolytes. It's like more of a slippery solution, if that makes sense. I don't know if you've used the Wellness Collection, you'll know what I'm talking about. Where this is more of, it almost looks, it looks like if you whipped um, like egg yolks or something, but it, it has a, a thicker consistency, obviously. Like, you know, like meringue is like really, like it falls apart quickly. This has more of like a, it does. It feels like a cloud. I really like this new formula, though. I think it's. I think it's really nice. I haven't really used it other than just trying it out this afternoon. This is more of a first impression. Um, but I'm hoping they keep this. I would love this in a strawberry pound cake. The only time I really use like a body butter is on my feet or my legs. I find it to be too greasy, like on my arms, um, only because I don't have really dry skin. But. Um, my daughter and my mother would probably use this on their hands just because they have, in the winter especially, they get really dry skin. So I'm impressed. I am so glad that I found this today. I'm glad I got it. These are actually $18.50. I'm hoping these go on sale if there's any left for semi-annual sale, but be on the lookout for these because like I said, I had no idea um, there was a cloud formula. I'm gonna look really quick at the reviews now. I try not to look at reviews until after I've reviewed a product because I don't want it to like, you know, mess me up because I want, you know, my, 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 my opinion here. Um, let me just look at the reviews really quick. Um, pretty much five star, I really enjoyed this product. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love the cloud body butter. Um, but yeah, people are liking it. So um, it's not just me. I have a feeling that this is going to be a popular formula. I hope they keep it. I hope they give us new and different formulas into um, the spring. So anyway, that is the Twisted Peppermint Body Butter in the Cloud format. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.